Hey, what's going on? Muriel from the Sunshine family and living in Costa Rica according to the Pura Vida lifestyle. What does it mean? How, what does it mean for me? Uh, I'm here to share uh, some personal examples uh, and if you uh, never met me before, well, welcome to this video and to my channel. I moved to Costa Rica in 2018 together with my husband Dirk and my two children and uh, so we live here now for a little bit over three years and has been the best adventure ever and uh, no regrets at all. Uh, even in this time where the world is in big transition and uh, lots of things are going on, the world is quite chaotic, I really enjoy living the Pura Vida life living in Costa Rica now. Uh, I'm gonna just touch on some examples. What does that mean? What can you expect? And perhaps you have to adjust your expectations if you're thinking about moving to Costa Rica and living here. Perhaps it doesn't fit with you. Uh, anyways, um, I'm happy that you're here. You can subscribe or consider to subscribe to the channel with a little icon on the screen or the pop-up around my head or in the description below. And also in the description below, you find more information about my online coaching programs, my one-on-one -on -one coaching program, and the more that it is that I do, uh, that makes my life living here in Costa Rica with my family possible, just using the internet, laptops and smartphones. And uh, yeah, it has been the best move in my life so far after uh, I quit as a social worker back in 2015. So I teach people from all over the world for more than five years, I think, no, seven years now. And I'm excited to share with you everything I've learned about Costa Rica. So, Pura Vida, what is it? Well, I think if you ask it to, to different people here in Costa Rica, you will hear a lot of differences. Uh, but for me, Pura Vida living means the pure life. That's basically the literal translation. Uh, it means for me, really that you don't need so much, that you can drink water from your own well, that you can eat fruit from your own trees, that you can garden, that you have wildlife around you and that you're basically living close to nature and, uh, and that you really um, are good for the ground that you're living on. Um, you can sit at the ocean. What uh, really appeared to me the first time that I came to Costa Rica is that even people who were born here at the ocean side uh, part of Costa Rica, that most of them just drop everything, including the police, for example, and people watch the sunset. Um, that is an incredible vibe, just to sit at the beach and to watch the sunset, and it's there, it's part of the Pura Vida life. mountains and you don't really see the sun um, uh, going down in the ocean or perhaps you're living at the side where the sun is not going down but you see the sun rise you know I think that's all part of the Pura Vida life style the Pura Vida life here and if I look at myself and if I com uh, compare my life living in the Netherlands when I still had a job um, rushing through traffic to pick up my kids from their grandparents, running the red rays in a concrete big city in the Netherlands called The Hague, um, all, always living indoors. Although I had a, we had a small apartment with a very tiny uh, front garden and a tiny back garden, 
which we were very grateful for when we were living that life. If I compare my life to the life that I'm living now, you know, I'm always outdoors. Um, yes, we have a house, we have buses, we have created a very unique stamping ground, so to say we were gonna build uh, a brand new house in the back of the property. We bought property. Um, we really, actually only when it really rains, we're always outside. And um, I, when I compare photos of myself, you can scroll to my Facebook, by the way, to see those differences. If you would scroll back, and you find a link to my Facebook below uh, in the description, if you scroll back um, about four years ago, you will see Dirk and myself, how we look like. You saw the stress and the city life in our faces. And even we were already job and restaurant free, Back then, um, yeah, Dirk quit his restaurant life when he sold the final restaurant in 2016 and I quit my job in 2015. Around those years, wow, if you look at our faces on pictures that we posted on our Facebook, you see the difference. And this is the result of Pura Vida life, um, living in Costa Rica. We don't need that much. In the beginning, we were being the tourists in Costa Rica. I'm not saying that if you live here quite a while in Costa Rica, that you should never go ziplining again and that it's dumb to visit wild uh, life centers or natural parks because that never bores. But uh, this is not something that we do on a weekly basis, living here, uh, the touristic attractions. Sometimes we do it, um, but recently we haven't because we visited many already and uh, more to come. But yeah, if I look at my day-to-day -day life living here in Costa Rica, I just, you know, I work a couple of hours online and I go to the gym, I go to visit my friends. Um, sometimes I go dancing or I go to small restaurants um, that I like. And, uh, and basically, you know, the sun rises at six and the sun sunset is at six. So it's, it's such a... Uh, a simple life actually and we do a lot of construction ourselves we planted lots of trees we have lots of fruit trees on the property if you ask me what do you do all day it's not even that much but you know do you hear the sounds for example listen you hear the the crockets and some monkeys in the background yeah you hear some motorbikes in the background too there are some roads around our property here but it's more or less being surrounded by green stuff. And um, I really, really love this life. Uh, walking on flip-flops because it's a warm climate. I'm always outdoors. Sometimes when we sleep in the dry season, we sleep uh, underneath a mosquito net. That's such a great feeling. That is for me the Pura Vida life with no red rays but perhaps that is me because i don't need to travel to a job i'm not going back and forth over roads to to be somewhere neither do my kids they do online uh, online school i homeschool them so the pura vida life for me is really like wake up when the sun rises and go to bed early evening and um and at daytime just do my things work a couple of hours online two three four hours max and uh enjoy being with my hands in the ground uh, run errands visit friends walk over the beach with my dogs and really enjoy really just those precious moments not pulling out your phone but just really have your senses connected with what's around you when i'm at the beach i forget everything really it's like my pay, uh, my place for peace my my personal happy place it's the beaches um especially when i bring my dogs um you will hardly see me laying on a, um, on a sarong in the sun. I'm always like walking or, you know, playing around in the tide pools with the dogs, with the kids. And that is the Pura Vida life for me. I don't know what's the Pura life uh, for you. I, I would love to hear, um, share it in the comments below. I know there are so many types of people living in Costa Rica. Um, people who live on the budget, people who live in amazing big mansions, people who just, uh, who work, um, who, um, who volunteer. Um, uh, yeah, 
there's there's people from all walks of life um, and also giving the Pura Vida lifestyle a personal meaning. I would love to hear again, share in the comments below. And I hope that my video inspires you. If you're thinking about living in Costa Rica and you're not sure if you should make the move, I would say there's just one way and that's just do it anyways. And when you don't like it, you leave, right? A lot of people are blocked by something, a fear, uh, thinking about like, what if it isn't what I expected? Well, if it isn't what you expected, just leave again, right? You, that is basically how I stand in life. Take it as it comes and be honest and give yourself the chance to adjust. Uh, don't accept everything to be as you're used to be, uh, where you come from, because it is a, a very specific area in the world, uh, Costa Rica. And yeah, um, I manage to live here and enjoy and sometimes think, what did I do all week besides a couple of things? I think that is Pura Vida life. Let's go to the beach and sit with a bottle of wine with some friends or just watch the sunset um, and do nothing and just stare and, and dream about everything that you still want to accomplish in life. I think that's Pura Vida. Eat healthy, drink healthy, warm climate, yeah, I love Costa Rica. That's basically, in a nutshell, the conclusion of my video. Please come and visit Costa Rica. There's so much to explore. Um, and I'm looking forward to meeting you one day in Costa Rica. And thanks for watching my video. Um, give me my uh, your thumbs up <laughs> to me <laughs> as a present if you think I deserve it. And of course, I'm looking forward to reading your comments below. And connect with me on social media with the description below provided information. Again, thank you so much. Bye.